The night we met was the first night I stopped making comparisons. Left the ghost of an ex-lover tap, tap, tapping on the window as if a sheet of glass was enough to say, no, you can't come in tonight. We left the light on. Because I had to see you for who you were and who you were was not her, which was a comfort beyond all measure of comparison. Skin tells you how to touch it if you listen. And yours has been yelling, telling stories of yes and no, stop and go slow like a snail that knows that the next rainfall is at least a week away. I listened to your skin say right there. As if there was where goosebumps become speed bumps, my fingers become tree trunks slowly growing into four. A skin becomes kindling as we begin smoke signaling lips to move in. Your mouth was a bargain bin and I was looking for a deal. It was practically boxing day when I heard your skin say your clothes were 100% off and your concerns were out of stock. I could listen to your skin talk for the better part of a week so long as it will speak to me of you. Turning knowledge into a residue whose value is determined by how much pressure I apply when I place my hands where you want me to. Few are the smiles I have sought with such relentlessness. As if to dismiss all the aspects of my life and focus on now and how it is you came to be an answer to the question I asked myself the last time I was alone. I've grown from the head down, refusing to plant my feet to the ground because only statues were made to stand still and I will walk to you so long as I can hear your skin say you've got my back like vertebrae. And that this constant backache stems from the fact that you've cracked these bones back in a position so they may stand for something more than beauty is on the inside. Or you can make it if you try. I am not a goddamn symbol. I'm just like you. I put my pants on one leg at a time. The only difference is when my pants are on, I'm awesome. But you want my pants off and that's fucking awesome. So you can save Roman Hennessy for someone other than me because I want to be sober for this. You can dismiss ice cubes, candle wax, handcuffs, and all that other stuff because I refuse to believe that my touch is not enough to turn you on because it will touch you like going is the new drug and both of us are gone. I want your body to be something I did wrong. I want you to hold it against me. The skin continuously rolls away from us. Like burnt out tractor tires which wobble to a standstill that will build a foundation for empires and dynasties whose histories are written in books bound by our spines where there will be no lines to read between because we've been filling in the spaces with the hope that truth retraces its steps to find that it was always standing still and will remain statuesque until we are brave enough to make promises so this is mine. I will pride myself on the title Best Friend. Slip my wrists on your shoulder blades, allowing my pulse to lend life to every dead end, then bend my breath to the shape of your heartbeat and meet you to make noise at the silences in between. Where honesty is the foreplay that prompts us to finally come clean. Because honestly, I've been thinking of holding your hand. As I am tired of holding my breath or tongue. I will task each rib into a rung, leaving ladders that lead to the top of each lung so you can witness where all of my words for you hung at the gallows of my own cowardice. This is just to say, I don't imagine you saran wrapped in black latex or seeping out the edges of something tight and red. I don't close my eyes to dream of your back arched at the impossible angle of a bow pulled tight encouraging your shoulder blades to drip the blood of stockpiled broken hearts but i hope the sound of you not shielding your eyes from my blinding humility will one day top the charts it's the most beautiful thing i've ever heard and you're the charlie chaplin of your beautifuls because you make me believe it when you say it all without saying a word and looking at you would occur to me i could sit around all day wearing nothing but your kiss you make mirrors want to grind themselves back down into sand because they can't do your reflection justice. And this just in. I am done with those who in life would have made me fight an army of imperfection, a battalion of flaws. Tonight, we're going to keep this city up when they hear our bodies slap together like a 